Happy Sunday, uh, Maine, <clears throat> America, planet Earth. This is the Anger Citizen. Today is May 30th, 2021. Uh, furnishing an update on a number of different subjects. Uh, I've been besieged lately, and I apologize to some of my allies and, and some of the folks that are uh, working with me in, in the Anger Citizen movement. I've uh, been delayed in, in getting some things done. Uh, for what it's worth, I have a full-time job, a uh, full-time, more or less full-time uh, Mr. Mom gig with, with a wildly uh, intelligent and, and uh, dedicated uh, four-year-old boy. Some of you have seen him appearing in my videos or heard him. He's, uh, he's pretty dedicated to getting what he wants, so uh, handling him is, is challenging, and I have a number of, of personal challenges. Um, at the end of the day, folks, there's just, just nothing, there's literally nothing more important than restoring our constitutional republic because our rights are under full assault, uh, our nation is under full assault, and I've been beating this drum for a long time and, and admittedly frustrated, and I apologize, I've, I've stepped on a few toes because I'm, I'm a little frustrated about uh, inaction on the part of so many people, apathy on the part of so many people. Uh, a lot of people say that they're, you know, they're willing to help, they're willing to do stuff, but then, you know, push comes to shove, uh, they're unavailable, and, you know, the time is inconvenient for them and, and whatever, and... Um, it's frustrating because all of us are going to lose. Our government is wildly out of control. They are on a scale, an unprecedented scale. We have allowed them to, to escalate their fraud, waste, and corruption to the point where it is so bad that it, it literally could hardly even get much worse. And, and right now we're under virtual martial, martial law here in, in this country, which I've been predicting for a long time. And like with most things I say, I've been mocked, ridiculed, and condemned for as a fool for, for talking about martial law and people laughing at me and telling me what an idiot I am. And, you know, here we are with stay-at-home orders, lockdowns, uh, you know, people are being, we're, we're hearing now about vaccine passports. You have to have a proof of vaccine to be allow, allowed by your government to, to travel, to, to send your kids to school. Um, you know, it's out of control. It's, it's wild. So, and, and um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, really formidable, brave patriots nationwide working to restore our constitutional republic. Um, I've named a few names, but you know anyone that's involved in the movement knows who, the, who these people are because they're the ones uh, who, like me, are not sitting on the sidelines and, and we're not you know, hoping things get better and we're not going along to get along. We're fighting and we're going to keep fighting. So... Uh, I have five children and two grandchildren, and there's not one day that goes by when I am not cognizant of the fact that it's their rights that are at stake. Um, my own life, I could, if I wanted to, I could simply bow out of this uh, conflict and just allow other people to, to fight for my rights and allow other people to do the heavy lifting because uh, it hasn't really affected me personally in a in a very significant way only in very minor ways so but i'm not even close to that it's how god made me um uh, i've always been uh defiant stubborn determined um uh, and you know i'm willing to do what it takes to to win this conflict because again our rights are at stake so i i personally may or may not be terribly affected over the course of my lifetime but my children, my grandchildren will be, and other people will be, and are, and I'm, and I'm not going to just sit by and watch it happen. So uh, instead of doing the things I want to do, uh, fun things, I'm a big gamer, and everyone who knows me knows that's that's pretty much my primary hobby. And I have some some projects along those lines that I've been working on for decades that have all on hold, all on hold, because every day I dedicate every free second I can to this cause, winning back our constitutional republic, and I have no plans to stop. No plans to stop. And what I'm going to do, even if it, if I die trying, and even though it's like herding cats or trying to reunite the Beatles, is I'm going to, to assemble a coalition of like-minded constitutional Americans. All of us together are going to speak to these people. That's not the word I would like to use. I have 
very harsh words. As a lot of you know, I've been criticized for swearing. It's hard not to swear. Uh, I told my kids at one point that if you were to like cut off a finger, like normally I would not say swearing is okay for you children, but if you do something like you smash your finger in a door or something when you're in hideous pain and have tremendous personal injury, you can swear all you want. There's a time to swear, okay? And these people, these elected servants are selling us into slavery. You all see it happening, okay? Or if maybe some of you don't. I don't know if you don't, you're not looking, but that's what's happening. They're selling us into slavery. So there's a lot of people working, trying to unite and coordinate and communicate and, and all get on the same page to fight back against this. And if that if we do that, we win, America. I keep, I'm trying so hard to make this happen. And it's so difficult because people, everyone has their own little uh, shtick, their own group, their own movement, their own ideas, their own thoughts. And uh, we end up butting heads and the evil overlords are working together perfectly. It doesn't matter how much they hate each other. They work together very smoothly and to present one united front until they're, they start getting caught and held accountable. We've seen that in criminal organizations. When Once you start catching them and holding them accountable, they start turning on each other. Speaking of the Hellion, and that's what we need to do is to unite, communicate, and coordinate, and then compel them to start turning each other in because they will, okay? Their house of cards is about to crumble, but we have to get together. So this is my renewed plea to all of you, America, to please, please, please work together, communicate, coordinate, stop with the egos, stop with my idea versus his idea. You know, it, it, if, if really, if anyone wants to take credit for my ideas, that's fine. I will hand them over to you. You take credit for my ideas. I don't care. All I care about is that we win. We need to win this war, folks, and we will if we can stop being discordant, uh, fighting among ourselves. Instead, let's all work together to the same purpose. So uh, that's why I created the Discord server. I'm still hopeful that that will catch on because it allows us to communicate without interference and without um, constant uh, censorship. So I've uh, put this up on my other videos, but I'm going to put it up on this video as well. The link to the Discord server, if you want to be a part of this, you're welcome to, as any constitutional American is welcome to. If you have a group or organization you'd like to have represented there, I welcome you. Uh, you can put up a, 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 a category describing your, your group uh, channels. You can use that to communicate in inter-group communications as well as uh, outside communications with all of us. Uh, there are people everywhere that are doing things that are that are paralleling. We're paralleling each other. So I'm doing certain things that other people are doing the same things that I'm doing. And if we knew of, of the existence of each other, we could work together and we could all form a coalition that would make better use of our resources in trying to achieve the goals we want to achieve, which is to fight back against tyranny, to hold our elected servants accountable, to demand the transparency and the justice that we want as constitutional Americans if we could work together. So uh, this is my renewed plea for that. Uh, I am working, I have a, a, about an eight page to-do list. That's God's honest truth. And I'm uh, discouraged about that daily because once I'm done with all my own personal responsibilities and you know I can get a chance to do some laundry and try to wash the giant pile of dishes that are stacked up on my sink, I sit down and I look back at everything I need to do to fight back against all these unconstitutional laws, rules, mandates, edicts, to hold all these people accountable. Um, and it's a little discouraging because there's so many tasks on that list. So uh, I'm making progress and today I'm making some pretty good progress because uh, my little hellion is entertaining himself for the for now, that will end momentarily. But um, so uh, I've been online for a while this morning and making very good progress and uh, my primary reason for making and putting up this video right now is to a update those people who are following along and, and uh, you know my allies and, and hoping that I'm making progress here in Maine toward fighting back against tyranny and b make my renewed call for communication cooperation and, and coordination um, and I'm, I'm just going to say it again because it just needs to be said you know that uh, my allied patriot groups are sometimes very very uh, reluctant to communicate and coordinate. And I think it's about, you know, fame and glory, but I don't know, whatever the cause is that this, this pattern of, um, sort of blocking and, and, and ignoring communications and communication attempts, 
uh, is hurting us. And, uh, you know, whether it's ego-based or whatever, uh, it needs to be addressed because look nationwide right now, folks, and every day I spend a, a great deal of time online looking at and reading about all these different patriot movements and patriot groups in every state across America, and all of us are on the same page wanting to do the same things, and yet everyone wants to do it their way with their group under their terms and their circumstances, and they may or may not deem to, you know, talk to me or anyone else at any particular time, but... At the same time, if we could simply stop each doing our own separate things and start all coordinating and getting on the same page, we would see tremendous progress. So I'm making a renewed plea to everyone in America to please, if you are a constitutional American and you are interested in these things that I'm talking about, the restoring of our constitutional republic, and then we can address all these problems, every problem in America, the racism and, and fraud, waste and corruption in the government and election fraud and, and, and you know, Black Lives Matter and Antifa and uh, everything. All, every single issue we face in America can be tackled with, with a pretty high degree of, of, of chance of success and a, and a positive outcome for everyone in America if we stop bickering among ourselves it's not about black versus white and Muslim versus Christian and, and all these other divisions that the, the overlords are trying to drive between us to keep us from doing this thing I'm talking about right now. That's why it's so important. If they don't want it to happen, it should happen. And that's because they know, they know that if we unite, when we unite, we own them. So let's work together, okay? My contact information is there for anyone that wants it. The Discord server, I've posted links everywhere. I'm going to post it on this video. So please come join the Discord server. Take a moment, talk to me, ask questions, look around, use it. If you have a group or an organization you want represented there, let me know. Talk to me. I will post it there. And if we would please just take the time to create this network, this communication and coordination network that we need we would start seeing progress and other people would be able to jump in and help us. So please give that thought. Uh, I'm going to have more very soon. I'm currently working on um, a, a series of other videos from a conference recently that my friends out in Oregon at uh, Constitutional Counties United and uh, Americans in Action uh, created with some extremely powerful footage. Um, and if you haven't looked at uh, the, the video that I just posted from Dr. Uh, Henry Ely, you really, really should, because he presents the uh, so-called pandemic, uh, the information about this, about why this is not the emergency that they're, the, the powers that be are telling us it is, in a beautiful, scientific, uh, a, a cold, rational, logical, uh, unrebutted, and unrefutable fashion. Everyone in America needs to look at that. If you think this pandemic is real, you look at that, and you show me the science. Um, so that's a really, really important one, and, and very soon I'll have some others from there, and also very important information. And um, I think, honestly, I think everyone in America should see these, because if you can see these videos and you can refute what these people are saying, you have some science and some logic and, and, and uh, uh, evidence, okay? Because, again, I deal in truth, law, fact, evidence. Uh, these people are telling you the truth. They'll docu they've documented it. They've, they've done an excellent job of, of showing you specifically uh, using irrefutable evidence why what they're telling you is true. So please check those out. Um, again, Angry Citizen, uh, today is Sunday, May 30th, 2021. Thank you, first of all, everyone who has taken the time to share my information, share my message, join the server, try to help out. And, and offer me assistance, especially. God bless you. Thank you so much. I am incredibly grateful um, to all my allies. Please take a moment and, and look into your hearts and ask yourselves if, if maybe we could be working together a little more cooperatively with a little less concern for who's, who gets credit or whose movement or, or whose ideas or, or who, who makes the time of, or, or date of the meeting and, and just work together. We would be much more effective much, much, much more effective. Um, and uh, to all patriotic Americans, I ask you to please take a moment, think about 
if we all joined together and we all joined our voices together, how effective we could be. Because right now we're all separated. We're sending some of them, uh, the, some of us contact our elected servants and we tell them our wishes, but we're all sort of doing this independently. What if we all got together on the same page under the same umbrella and we all contacted them together with one giant overwhelming voice with a thousand, you know, 15,000, a hundred thousand, a million uh, angry constitutional Americans demanding accountability, transparency, justice, and, and change, we would see it happen. That's what I'm trying to do. So uh, God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you for your time and attention. More soon. Angry Citizen signing off. <laughs>